We've always known that BPAs are bad, or at least some of us have. Now there's even more evidence backing us up. A new study that had subjects handle store receipts showed BPA absorbed through the skin stays in the body much longer than ingested BPA. The studies had subjects handle common store receipts for five minutes, then wear gloves for two hours before washing their hands. BPA measurements in the subject's urine showed BPA levels highest for the first two days after handling the receipts. And remember, they only handled the receipt for five minutes. After one week, three of the six volunteers showed BPA in their urine. Some studies show that the half-life of BPA in the body is about six hours, but the half-life isn't in the linear progression. It actually shows that the half-life slows down and doesn't get detoxed as fast. Kind of sucky. Anyway, when the subjects ate a cookie with BPA, follow-up urinalysis showed BPA levels spiked about five hours, but it was cleared after a day. The scientists concluded the body can more quickly metabolize and clear ind ingested BPA than BPA absorbed through the skin. If you're looking on the bright side of things, I guess you can take this to mean that it's better to use plastic to eat and drink out of than to touch. But not really. BPA toxicity in everyday food and beverages is the main component of polycarbonate and is found in water and plastic bottles, plastic lids, the lining of tin cans, food storage containers, dental sealants, contact lenses, and electronics. Store receipts aren't the only place people come in contact with BPA. Canned foods often contain significant amounts of the chemical. The lining on the soup can can deliver 1,000% more BPA than fresh soup. Plastic beverage bottles are another common source of exposure, especially if the bottle has been exposed to heat, light, or acids, such as in soda. Plastic food containers, especially if they've been heated, like in a microwave or a hot car, are another common source. Plastic coffee lids, straws, and other plastics that come in contact with foods deliver BPA as well. BPA as well. And again, if those foods or liquids are exposed to heat, coffee, you are more likely to absorb increased amounts of BPA. Store receipts aren't the only source of BPA that can be absorbed through the skin. Other sources of thermal pump thermal paper that contains high amounts of BPA include fast food receipts, ATM receipts, airline tickets, gas station receipts, lottery tickets, fax paper, if anyone still uses that, etc. So unless you plan on walking around with gloves on your hand all day when you go shopping, ask the cashier to toss the receipt if you don't need it. Or if they have the ability, like in my office, just tell them to have it emailed or texted to you. That way you don't have to touch it and you won't ever lose it. There's even some stores that we've run across, and I don't know if this is a personal thing that the employees know about this, or if it's now a company policy, they won't touch your receipts and hand them to you. You have to grab them yourself. So just pass on it. Although this latest study had subjects handle the receipts for five minutes, previous studies have shown handling a receipt for just five seconds transfers BPA through your skin and into your bloodstream. Your skin absorbs 10 times as much if your fingers are wet and or greasy. You can even absorb BPA from handling cash that has been stored with receipts. So it's everywhere. Studies have shown BPA to be problematic to human health in a variety of different ways. It has estrogen-like properties that skew hormone balance, also known as a xenoestrogen. So this messes up, particularly with kids, females and males, all their hormone balance. Recent studies have shown BPA causes reproductive defects, cancer, and breakdowns in metabolic and immune health. Great stuff for the health of your kids. BPA is especially toxic to a developing fetus, raising the risk of causing chromosomal errors, miscarriage, and genetic damage. The chemical is also linked to poor sperm quality, early puberty, reproductive dysfunction, cancer, heart disease, thyroid problems, insulin resistance, and obesity. Oh my. B Recent studies have also shown that BPA can both trigger and exacerbate autoimmune diseases due to its disruptive effect on the immune system. It has been linked to nerve sheaths, the common target of attack in multiple sclerosis, and a Hashimoto's thyroid autoimmune disease. BPA-free is no guarantee. Unfortunately, products listed as BPA-free are not a green light either. Many non-BPA products also contain synthetic est estrogens. Basically what they're doing is taking BPA and changing it to BPS 
and calling it BPA free. This is a load of BPS. It doesn't mean a darn thing. It's still toxic. So how do you reduce your body burden of BPA? Reduce your exposure to BPA as much as possible by not handling receipts and avoiding plastic food and beverage containers. Additionally, help buffer the damage of BPA and other toxins by eating a whole foods diet and supplementing with nutritional compounds that support detoxification and cellular pr protection. I've included a few links to some products that can help you live a more toxin-free life and support those natural detoxification pathways. And of course, you can always wear these. So don't put up with any BPA or SBS. I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy, be happy.